Yo, as if asking you to vote for me for 106 in part wasn't enough, I'm now about to ruin your life. A little advice time. Okay, so I got this email from Sheila. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna edit that part out. Sheila sent me a freaking essay. I mean, this thing is literally a novel about an issue that her and a man were having. Goodness, you know, some of y'all who send me these requests got some serious writing abilities. Might wanna look into that. Anyway, make a long story short, her boyfriend gets up in the middle of the night and leaves. When she woke up in the morning, he wasn't there. She was either slightly worried or concerned. She gave him a call. He answered his phone though and told her where he was. Seeing if she doesn't worry about cheating, she understands he's not that kind of guy. But it hurts her feelings when she wakes up in the morning and he's not there. She says she would prefer if he, before he leaves, would actually wake her up and let her know he's stepping out for whatever reason, because the thought of waking up to an empty bed scares her, it frightens her. Hmm. She's also said she's not controlling and he has a freedom to do whatever he wants it's as long as he's honest about it. What should she do? Well, you know, most women have problems with men cheating, thinking that men on the down low. The only problem is you got a man who likes to get up in the middle of the night and do legitimate things. So he going to work out, going to go run, going to Walmart to pick up some milk so you have some breakfast in the morning. But you don't like that because you don't like waking up to an empty bed. Baby, let me tell you this. I don't think you need to do anything because it really ain't that big of a deal. Peak game for a man. You got a man who's not fooling around, honest, loves you. You might wake up in the middle of the night and you can call him, but he's answering his phone and telling you exactly where he's at. You know, a lot of guys who are in that scenario, if I answer the phone, if I answer the phone, definitely not telling you where I'm at. I'll be out, I'll, I'll be right home. God, dog, stop, stop worrying me. Mm -mm, ain't, ain't disclosing that information unless I'm doing something legitimate. How long y'all been dating? About six years? Shoot. After six years of being together, you should be glad when you wake up to an empty bed. It's an opportunity to stretch out, free yourself. Snoring, breathing, can on. Ain't no worse you sleep with somebody, catch an elbow to your neck. You ever had that happen to you? You ever catch an elbow just randomly, like to the back of your head? Some half-sleep voice talking about, I'm sorry, baby. But that's love. I mean, think about it. Most of the time when you wake somebody up in the middle of the night, you don't even get a full response when you tell them something. They don't even open their mouth to respond. They be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If he cares enough about your slumber, about your beauty sleep, about your rejuvenation process, I think you got a very considerate man. But I will tell you this though, compromise is what saves and makes relationships work. It seems how it hurts him to wake you up because you either don't give him a full response, you got crust in your face, or whatever it is. What he could do is just do the old fashioned thing. What about him leaving a note? Baby, I'm going such and such. Be right back. Bad, there you go. I understand you say you're not controlling, but hey, baby, that's control. You want to know where he is at all times. So, hope it works out for you. If it didn't, oops. Oh, yeah, by the way, whenever you get bored and get a chance, go to Twitter at SJSA56Pound106 to search. Don't forget. Thanks so much.